Uh, yes, as I explained that to you about uh, solid, liquid, and gas in your previous class. So here is a test in which one there will be ten question. Just you have to read your question and you have to give me your answer. Okay. Now, question first question is. In which two states are the particles randomly arranged? Liquids and gases. Great. In which state are the particles only able to vibrate in a fixed position? Solids. Great. Fantastic. Wow. Which state can be compressed or squeezed easily? Um, gases. Okay, fantastic. Very good. And next, which state is shown in the diagram? Um, liquids. Very good. Which states cannot flow from place to place? Solid. Wow, that's right. Particles in which state have no bonds? Um, gases. Very good. So, Particles in which state sit in a regular pattern and are held together tightly by bonds. Solid. Very good. Are you seeing anywhere? No. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I, I trust on you, but I trust on you. Yeah. Okay. At room temperature, what state is mercury in? Uh, liquid? Yes, that's right. A little bit I can explain you that you will see mercury at room temperature in liquid condition in thermometer. Okay? Okay. Yes. And... What happens to the pressure of a gas when it is heated at constant volume? It increases. Okay. When 100 gram of water is boiled, what mass of steam is made? Um, 100 grams. Okay. Now I'm going to check your score. Let's see that how much you score there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fantastic. Very good. Thank you, sir. Well done. Well done. That's great. It means that you get 100% marks. Now I believe that Whatever I explained you regarding to solid, liquid and gases, you understand clearly. Well done, Beta. Congratulations to you. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. And it's my request to you. You have to show this video to your parents about your progress. Okay? Yes, sir. Great. I think that you subscribe my channel. Yes, sir. Oh yes, that's why that you will be able to see all the videos of different topics related to science, math and English. Okay. So now okay, sir. as the first chapter that we had completed, now we can move to the next chapter. Give me one second. Yeah. So the next topic is your atom elements and compounds. Okay, so atom, before starting, one important thing that, few things that I have to explain that to you. Atoms are, in 18th century, there was a scientist Dalton, okay? Okay. 
so dalton was a chemist okay that yes, is sir. chemist are those uh, scientists who generally used to study and uh, make experiments regarding to chemistry okay, okay so she was the person who firstly explain that atoms are the simplest particle which are independent in nature okay and okay. which take part in any chemical reaction okay okay sir but after his and this theory is known as dalton atomic theory okay yes sir after the time when he gave theory after 70 80 years then jj thompson was the scientist who invented electron okay electrons yes, in atom and after four or five years there was another scientist goldstein who invented proton okay for your kind information electrons were negative electrons always negatively charge okay they yes. are also known as charge carrier okay okay that means if there is any kind of energy so that energy will be carried by electrons okay okay and the third one in 1932 chadwick was the scientist okay james chadwick was the scientist who invented neutron okay he was okay. the scientist who was working at that time upon the atomic mass of the atom okay okay yes so is the fundamental so when the invention of proton neutron and electron were then the dalton theory fails why because the dalton explained that atoms are independent in nature but how if they are independent so how is it possible of having the uh particles like proton neutron electron and after the invention of proton electron neutron there are many particles okay they were yes. discovered up to today okay like pi meson okay. positron okay and all that okay so okay now in that condition dalton's theory failed so now the new theory that came into existence regarding to which that atoms are the simplest particle which are dependent in nature okay not independent okay and okay. which take part in any chemical reaction you understand okay. that yes sir great so now let's see that uh, yeah and when million trillions of atom combines then they form elements okay in yes. a particular element there will be only one kind of atoms okay you can also okay. understand in this way suppose that if there is a gold brick okay or any of gold ornament okay so clearly and if you will cut the gold ornament on its edges so there will be all the atoms they have the same characteristic of gold or not hello yeah i'm here i'm here are you able to listen me yes sir i am asking that if there is a gold ornament okay and if yes. you will cut the gold ornament so all yes. the element all the particles that will be gold or not uh yes gold yes yes because that it will it proves that elements that would like to made up of same kind of atoms okay okay and when two or more elements combine together then they form compounds okay, okay. you can also understand compounds in this way when give me one second i have to take my 
so that I can explain you on a screen. Wait. Okay. Yeah, I'm opening my graphic tablet quickly. So now you can see. Yeah. So I am explaining that uh, when two two elements will combine. Suppose that I am writing here. Give me a second. Yes. When two elements elements will combine. Combine, they form, they form compound. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Always remember that elements are pure substances. Okay. Okay. Like gold, silver, copper, mercury, carbon, oxygen. Okay, everyone. Okay. Because why they are pure? Because they have only one kind of substance. One sorry, one kind of pa particles or atoms in them. Okay. So okay. when two elements will combine, they form compound. compound. Yeah. So that means one element like carbon, when uh, combined with oxygen. Then it will form carbon dioxide like CO2. Okay. Here okay. CO2 is your compound. Okay. Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, compound. And here carbon that is your element, and oxygen that is also your element. Okay. Yes. For your kind information, there are means in books that there are well known 108 elements in nature, but for your kind information, there are 121 elements that are discovered up to today. Okay. Few okay. elements are under observation. That means their characteristic are yet to discovered. Okay. Okay. But we know about them. Okay. Do you understand all that which I explained just before? Yes, sir. Great. So now let's see that what is written in your online book. So atoms, everything that is made up of atoms. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wait a second. Uh, I am uh, refreshing that so that uh, whatever important thing will be that I can explain that to you. Also, I can underline that one so that you will be able to understand. Yeah. So always remember that everything that is made up of atoms. Okay. Now okay. one more important thing: what is atoms? So the smallest part of an element that can exist. Okay. Okay. Also, you can understand that atoms are tiny particles. Okay. Yes. That are far too small to see even with the help of microscope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They are very, very, very tiny. Okay. Understand? Yes. Okay. So next, if a people were Same size atom, the entire population of the world would fit into a box about a thousand of millimeter across. Okay. Yes. yes. They are explaining. Suppose that it is your box. Wait. Means suppose that you can take any one circle. Okay. Just take any yes. one circle, and if the entire world. that is represented by this circle okay then the entire population of the world that can be defined of this small white circle okay okay understand yes sir yes so also we usually imagine atoms okay just like as tiny yes, balls yeah just like as tiny balls 
yeah to make diagram simpler we often draw atoms as circles okay like yes. this okay yes next one is your element there are over a hundred different elements okay okay yeah means uh, as i explained that to you that in written in written condition there are 108 known elements but uh, roughly as today up to today that there are 121 elements uh, that are known okay now main yeah. thing is that what is element a substance made up of only one type of atom now you can see that what i explained just before the same is written here or not hello hello yeah i'm asking that whatever that i explained that to you previously are you seeing that the same thing that is written here yes sir yeah so that's why that beta i mean to say that just learn each and everything very very conveniently and in deep manner okay yes sir yes and atoms in a particular elements are same as each other and they are different from the atoms of other element okay you can also understand in this way suppose that just take the element gold and just take the another element silver so clearly you can see that individually gold particles and silver particles they are same okay but if okay. you will compare the gold particle with silver then they are different or not uh, they are different yeah because they have different characteristic gold have different characteristic and silver that contains different characteristic okay yes yeah a piece of pure lead contains only lead atom lead is also a element so that's why that pieces of pure lead that contains only one element one atom okay okay atoms of same atoms of some element do not join together okay but instead okay. but instead they stay as a separate atom okay like helium yes. okay like yes. helium helium is that element in which one atoms do not join together okay the atom yes. because why why they do not join together because helium is your gas okay the uh, atom of other elements such as the hydrogen oxygen yeah helium because you can also understand means helium is gas but it is it doesn't mean that helium is gas or every gas that will not join all the elements that will not join together okay so that means gas that the different characteristic that contains different characteristic but helium is your inert gas okay okay what does what yeah one question that may arise in your mind that sir what is inert gas inert gases are those type of gases which do not react with other elements okay okay yeah that means that if you would like to combine the helium with means uh, sodium or potassium or gold or copper or any other so they will not react with other elements okay okay understand yes next is the atom of other elements such as hydrogen oxygen combined together to make molecules yes so when two or more atom will combine together they will form molecules okay okay yeah so that means molecule hello yeah i'm here i'm here wait so good so here you can see that helium that always becomes independent okay individual okay and yes. hydrogen 
you can see that hydrogen becomes diatomic okay that okay. means in one element of hydrogen okay there is h2 okay hydrogen okay. symbol that is h2 wait hydrogen hydrogen symbol that is h and it becomes diatomic that means when h plus h will combine it forms h2 okay yes understand yes ozone o z o n e ozone that is o3 three oxygen atoms will combined and then it will form ozone that's why it is triatomic okay okay that means three atoms of oxygen will combine together to form ozone clear yes yeah so these are molecules okay hydrogen oxygen that means so when two atom or more atom will combined they will form molecule so that means initially you have to understand or you have to learn that that uh, firstly there will be atom yes simple stage when two or more atom will combine then it will form molecule when two or more molecule will combine it will form element when two or more element <coughs> will combine then it will form compound okay yeah understand yes sir great so now do you understand what i explained on your first page yes sir that's good so now i'm refreshing that so that we can move to the next page beta and now the yes, next sir. page that is second yeah so here you oh my god so same thing compound so a first of all a compound is a substance that contains atoms of two or more different element okay and okay. these atoms are chemically joined together that's why that do you remember that just in your previous uh, page that i explained that to you when carbon and oxygen will combine they will form carbon dioxide okay Yes. Oh yes. The same thing you can see that carbon dioxide they are also explaining here. Okay? Okay. That means one carbon that is black atom and two oxygen that means pink atom are combining to form carbon dioxide. And here water that means when hydrogen element and oxygen element will combine. Okay? Okay. then it will form water okay okay clear yes yes so for example water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen okay each okay. of its molecule combined two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom okay, okay. and then it will form a compound okay Yes. Understand? Yes. Great. Now we can move to the next page, beta. Chemical symbols. Yeah. Each and every element. That means there are many elements. So what is the condition that by which you will be able to understand that what type of element that is given? Okay. so there are specific symbols okay that by which you will be able to understand okay always remember that symbols will be with respect to a uh, name of that okay element either that will be common name or either that will be latin name okay okay and if there is a will be suppose that you can understand like carbon okay so carbon okay. c a r b o n so carbon you have to take that c okay so c is the symbol yes. of carbon okay yes sir also always remember that 
that elements chemical symbol that would like to be taken by the first letter first or second letter or first or third letter okay okay yes so here clearly you can understand that magnesium here is mg okay so mg that means magnesium okay yes are you seeing on your screen yes so you can see that first letter they are taking and third yes. letter they are taking that's why they are getting here mg okay okay and yeah c stands for carbon so here you can see that only first letter they are taking and lithium you can see that first two letter li that they are taking sorry i am not able to yeah li okay yes. li simple lithium okay w stands for tungsten okay actually why you you can ask me a question sir its name is tungsten so it can start by t but why it is known as w because that the latin name of tungsten that is wolfram okay okay wolfram so that means wolfram so that starts from w oh yes latin word wolfram okay yes wolfram okay. so that means w is your first letter that's why it stands for w and na stands for sodium okay because sodium that means here is s but it's a latin name that is a natrium that's why that sodium symbol is first two letter that is na okay oh okay are you understanding that yes sir great so now next is yes next is chemical formula yes so when you will learn all the symbols of elements then you can combine those elements and then regarding to symbol you can frame a new compound okay so that's okay. compound name that will be your chemical formula okay okay sir understand beta yes sir yeah so here c stand for carbon o stand for oxygen s stand for sulfur and n stand for sodium okay when carbon and oxygen will combine together okay i just explain that it will form carbon dioxide but here you can see that when carbon and oxygen will combine then they will form carbon monoxide also now you can ask me a question that sir what is the condition that when carbon will combine to oxygen to form carbon monoxide when carbon will combined with limited amount of oxygen okay okay yeah i am writing here when carbon will combine combined with limited oxygen okay yes limited oxygen oxygen then it forms carbon monoxide okay okay yeah it forms it forms carbon monoxide okay okay sir yeah so reaction you can also write that beta so word equation okay. actually there are two types of expression by which you can explain your reaction first is your word equation word equation in uh, means like word equation word equation okay word equation that means you can write there like uh, means carbon plus oxygen 
that will give you carbon monoxide okay yes monoxide okay and now it is your word equation and now next is your chemical equation so in chemical chemical equation chemical equation that will be c plus o2 that will give you co okay so here oxygen you can like that limited okay okay and when c plus o2 that will give you co2 here oxygen will be excess okay Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. So here you also have to learn the name of compound. Like CO means carbon monoxide. CO two that is a carbon dioxide. Okay. Carbon. Sorry. Give me one second. Carbon monoxide. monoxide and carbon dioxide okay yes understand yes sir yeah so formula so that means co that is formula of carbon dioxide carbon monoxide okay so yes sir and co2 that is the chemical formula of carbon dioxide okay Okay, sir. Yeah. So, also you can see here very big in letter that is written here. So, the formula for the sodium sulfate. The wait, give me a second. You can see that the formula of sodium. Sulfate that is Na2SO4. Okay, it tells you that two. It tells that sodium sulfate combines two sodium atom, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atom to form sodium sulfate. Okay, you yes, can sir. see that two sodium atom, one sulfur atom, and Or oxygen atom. Either you can write here one or not. Okay, doesn't matter of that. Understand that? Yes, sir. Great. So the formula of the substances will always be the same. Okay. Okay, sir. All compounds that have definite composition. Okay. So yes, that sir. means we can take example of water. Okay. Water. That means. H2 plus O2 that will give you H2O. Okay. So okay. always remember here that it means means definite composition. That means you can see that hydrogen and oxygen will combine together in the ratio of two is to one to form water. Okay. Okay. Always. It doesn't mean that you are in UK. So their ratio will be different, and here I am in India, so my ratio that will be different. No, so ratio of combining hydrogen and oxygen that will always and everywhere that will be two is to one. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, and always remember that formula of water that will always be H two O. Okay. Okay, sir. Do you understand that? Yes. Are you understanding all that which I am explaining here, beta? Yes, sir. Great. I am refreshing that, beta, so that we can move to the next page. Yeah. So. Now the next page is your fifth page.
then next is molecules and formulae so molecules of elements so as usual we know that oxygen that is your element okay oxygen okay. is your element okay all its atom are oxygen atom that means they have the same characteristic okay like others okay, okay? Sir. however they do not exist separately yes it is not possible to exist separately let me miss like o only they always exist in pair okay to form yes, like o2 hydrogen also has molecules with two atoms like h2 so these type of molecules are known as diatomic okay when okay. two atoms will combined when two atoms of elements will combined they form diatomic molecules okay okay and yeah just remember that i explained just before that when three elements three atoms of oxygen will combine then it will form ozone okay yes sir understand yes okay so next molecules of compound compound wait compounds are made from two or more atoms chemically joined together okay so that means same thing that they are also explaining what i explained that to you before that when two elements will combine together then they will form compound okay so like just like yeah, yeah. you can understand that when carbon combined oxygen then form either carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide but most probably when carbon combined to oxygen it forms carbon dioxide okay okay yes water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen each water molecule contains two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom okay yes sir yeah you can you can see that this one here yeah that means a one two hydrogen and one oxygen that combine to form water okay okay and one carbon and two oxygen will combine then form carbon dioxide and i think uh, yes ethanol c2h5 ethanol meth eth c2 s6 oh yeah you can see that c that means black one c2 that is two carbon atom s6 uh, or c2h5 five hydrogen that will combined like this and one hydrogen means c2h5 oh ethanol they are saying just see on your screen it is your ethanol formula that will be c2h5 oh okay that means the two carbon plus six hydrogen plus one oxygen okay okay understand so when these will combined then they form ethanol okay yes do you understand that yes sir okay i am refreshing again that and then i will ask you few questions related to this topic beta because all the pages that i explained that to you so now is coming your test so whatever i explained that to you let's see that how much you understand that so atoms element compound which of these is the smallest particle um an atom yes good which of these is the correct symbol of magnesium capital m lower case g get great which statement about atoms and molecules is correct 
Um, elements and compounds can exist as molecules. Okay. How many different atoms are there in a compound? Um, two or more. Great. Approximately how many elements are there? A hundred. Yeah, I told you that there are 108 in written condition, but here that option is 100, so we have to mention 100. Which one is your compound? Um, water. Oh, yes, water. Which of these contains two carbon atom and six hydrogen atom? Um, is it the second one? Oh yes, C two S six. Yeah, C two that means two carbon, H six that is six hydrogen. Yes. Which of these contains four hydrogen atom? Um, is it the third one? Which one? The third. Third? Yes. Okay. You are saying that because they are asking which of these contains four hydrogen atom. Okay. Do you think that your answer is right? Uh, no. Is it the is it the second one? Okay, you can tell me your final answer, either first, second, or third. Is it the first one? Are you sure? Yes. Oh yes, because clearly you can see that here is two hydrogen. Here is also two hydrogen. But here you can see that three hydrogen plus one hydrogen that is four hydrogen. Great. Oh. How many atoms are there in total in a molecule of sulfur trioxide? Three. How many atoms are there in total in a molecule of sulfur trioxide? Three. Oh, you are saying three, okay. Why does air have not a definite formula? Uh, is it the second one? It depends on temperature, okay. Yeah. So let's check the score. I think that uh, yeah, I was thinking that one or two question that is wrong. So okay, here questions are right, 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 right. Last two questions are wrong. Why? Beta, I asked you that uh, how many element atoms are there in sulfur trioxide so you told me three but better you can see that three atoms that will be oxygen and one will be sulfur so that means oh. there will be total four okay okay yes and why does air not have a definite formula so your first answer will be that means the air is a mixture so it does not have a definite formula the composition of air doesn't change much with temperature okay okay sir do you understand that yes sir great that's right so now we can move to the next topic 
next topic is your pure and impure chemical substances before scrolling down pure substances will be those substances which are made up of only one kind of atom okay okay sir yeah an impure as usual just opposite of that one a pure substance or compound contain only one substance with no other substance mixed in it okay okay sir means suppose that there is water then there will be water okay because it's a pure substance no other substance that is mixing with it okay okay because means suppose that if there is water if you would like to mix a uh, dust with water then in that condition that will not be your pure substance why because dust is another substance and water is another substance okay okay but if individually there is water so that will be your pure substance okay okay sir yeah and impure material or impure substances may be the mixture of element may be the mixture of elements mixture of compound or mixtures of element and compound okay okay sir understand clearly beta yes sir yes next one is your here the topic is pure chemical substances pure chemical substances means suppose that when you generally bought means a glass of mineral water fundamentally you can understand that it is not a pure substance because mineral water that is not pure okay because different okay. type of healthy particles that would like to include with this one and then it will be suitable for drinking okay okay sir yeah food and drinks may be advertised as pure okay so for example that you may see cartons of pure orange okay so yes. juice yeah pure orange juice or pure mineral water so this means that nothing else pure means nothing else was added to the orange juice or water juice during manufacture okay yes sir these substances are not pure to a scientist in science a pure substance yeah can understand in size a pure substance contains only one element or compound okay okay understand clearly beta yes sir great mineral water is mostly water okay but there are only substances mixed with it okay these yes. are the ingredients that you will see listed on the bottles label yes so this type of bottle label that you can see here like ingredients like sodium 13.2% calcium 29.1 and calcium 3% chlorine 31.1% sul sulfate that is 42.7% and nitrate that is 0.5 less than 0.5% okay okay sir so mineral water that you can understand that clearly that mineral water is a mixture of water and other substances okay okay so what does it mean it means that if you can see the particles in pure water you would only see water molecule okay okay there wouldn't be no other there would be no other particles okay it is difficult to get completely pure substance yes because nothing is pure and perfect in the world okay okay yeah there will be almost always be other substances okay, okay. which would like to 
mixed in equi even the most pure water will contain dissolved gases from the air okay impurities okay. in the substance will affect the properties okay impurities of a impurity in a substance okay that will affect the property okay of substances like it's a boiling point freezing point okay or other type of fundamental properties okay understand yes so also you can understand that completely pure water would only contains water molecules and nothing else okay okay do you understand that yes now come to the next page beta yes next is your mixture so you have to understand fundamentally that a mixture a mixture contains different substances that are not chemically joined to each other suppose that here you are seeing that a herd or a group of jam balls okay so you can see that it is the type of mixture because different color of individual jam balls when you will combine together then it will form a mixture or not um it will yes the sweets are not joined each other so they can be picked out and put into separate piles okay, okay so that's sir. why that always you have to understand that uh, mixture that means uh, the group of different substances that are not chemically joined to each other okay okay understand yes and next one topic is dissolving okay, okay. dissolving that means uh, indirectly you can say that mixing so dissolving is one way to make a mixture yes suppose that you can also understand in this way if you want to dissolve a little bit amount of sugar in water then you will take one cup of water and one spoon one teaspoon of sugar and then you will start to stir that okay after few time that you will see that uh, sugar that will disappear from the solution and then the solution will convert into sugar solution okay because that okay. taste that will be means sweet okay one okay. more important thing also you have to understand that we can take example of means uh, we can take example of sugar and water so when sugar plus water combined then it will form sugar solution okay yes sir so clearly you can understand that sugar here sugar that means the substance which you are mixing with water or not um no no sugar is the substance which you are mixing with water to form sugar solution or not yes sir yeah so that means sugar is your which you are mixing that is your solute okay solute and in which one you are mixing that is your solvent okay yes sir again i am repeating that sugar if you are if you want to make sugar solution then sugar that that is the substance which you are mixing with water so sugar will be your solute and water in which one you are mixing sugar that is your solvent okay and when yes. solute plus solvent will combined then it will form sugar 
solution understand yes sir okay so okay beta so diffusion i will explain you in your next class beta okay so thanks yes, for sir. today have a great time and your class will be upload within few hours on my channel okay so thank yes, you bye bye have a great time i'm asking to you do you understand all that which i explained in your today's class yes that's great beta please and please just try to revise all that if you are feeling a little bit problem then just go to my channel and see your class video again and i am quite sure that you will understand each and everything after then okay and okay. don't like to don't forget to like my channel, my videos okay and okay. if you want to give comment about my teaching that you can give comment also there okay Yes. So thanks for today, Vita. Have a great time, and bye bye. Thank you. Bye.